this lesson we're going to be creating app script that's going to go through a document so this is going to be attached bound script document select the items that have the heading one and then update and create a table of contents so the code is here and when we run the code what it does is it creates a table of contents as it went through all the documents and it added the heading ones within the list here under table of contents going to be creating a script that automatically generates a table of contents in your Google document, which is going to be based on heading styles. So we've got some headings in here. These are heading twos, and this is a heading one. So we're going to generate this table of contents, and this is going to be done using a Google Apps script. In order to access the Apps script editor, you can do that under extensions, select Apps script, and that's going to create a bound script to your document. And we first want to create a function. So set up a function, and this function can just be called generate table of contents. And within the function, first thing that we want to do is we're going to select the document. And this is going to be within a bound script. So we're going to use the document app and get the active document. So we get the active document object. Within the active document, let's then select the body content. So within the doc object, we get the body. So it's going to return back the body object of the document. So once again, selecting the entire body that's available within the document that's attached to the script. So we want to get the terms and conditions. So this is going to be generated using the headings. So we want to create a table of contents heading. So within the body of the document, we're going to append a paragraph. And what this will do is this is going to add a new paragraph to the document and we'll call it table of contents. So when we run the script so far, so we make sure that you do accept permissions within the script. So wherever the cursor is, it's going to be adding in this table of contents. So whenever we run the code, what it does is it adds in table of contents. So let's move to the next part where what we want to do is we want to set that as a heading style selecting the table of contents object that we've just created and then setting, setting it as a heading and we can do this using the document app and set that as paragraph heading and then we're going to select the heading that we want to use which can be heading one so now we're attaching that as a heading one so let's run the code again and then we've got the table of contents now is as set as a heading one. So we can clear some of that styling and continue to build out our script. So the next one that we want to get is we want to get all of the paragraphs that are currently within the body. And this is going to return back an object. So I'm going to call this paragraphs. So it's going to return back all of the paragraphs that are within the body of the document. So we do a get paragraphs. And you can see this within the logger log where we've got all of the paragraphs are going to be listed. So let's uh, run the code again. It adds in the table of contents there and it returns back all of the paragraphs objects that it's found. So we want to iterate through the paragraph object. So paragraphs and then for each one of the paragraphs, we're going to run a function that's going to select out the paragraph object itself. So that way we can take a closer look at what's available within the paragraph. And here we're going to have a condition to check to see if the paragraph and we're going to get the heading of the paragraph. So if it does have a heading and if it's equal to the document app and that's the paragraph heading and if it's equal to heading one then we can set some conditions to this. So if it is true then we're going to set and create some text and the text is going to be coming from the paragraph and whatever text is within the paragraph so selecting that text and then we want to have the paragraph text itself so select that the, the entry that's within the table of contents is going to be within the body and it's going to be appending the paragraph content which is just going to be coming from the text of the heading object. And what we want to do is we want to set a link. So to the table of contents, we're going to set a link to a URL. And the URL is going to be actually linking to the text object. 
So we're just going to be using a hash and then adding in the text value into that hash. So what that's going to return back is going to return back a hyperlink to the heading one text content. So let's run the code. And there we've got our table of contents and all generated using Google Apps Script. So let's try that again, where we can clear that out and run the code. And this time it generated the table of contents. And then we've got our first function there is the table of contents. So it'll, so after it grabs the paragraph objects, we can add the table of contents there. And let's try that again, go back to the document and erase what we have and then run the code. So this time it'll create the table of contents as a heading one style. And then any of the existing heading ones will be generated into the table of contents with a link to them.